NBC 5 News at 5.30 starts now. Thanks for being with us at 530. I'm Jack Burston and I'm Liz Streppa. A group of graduate students from the University of Pennsylvania arrived in Vermont's capital region today to support long term recovery efforts after the devastating flooding the past two summers. Their mission to explore the hardest hit areas and understand the community's challenges better. NBC 5's Yunya Martinez is live now in Barrie with more on what these students are researching. Hi Yunya. Liz, Jack, for the past two years, students from the University of Pennsylvania have been researching new ways to minimize climate change and find out new solutions on flood recovery efforts here in Vermont. From the Keystone State to the Green Mountain State, a team of graduate students are on a mission to find innovative solutions for flood recovery in central Vermont. A big semester long project where we kind of learn how to go throughout the planning process um, and so each one of the projects is very different. Um, so ours uh, was focused on specifically uh, Barry, Montpelier and Plainfield um, working on uh, flood resiliency, climate resiliency and overall just um, assessing the current state of the towns. After two years of analyzing data and studying Google Maps, graduate student Christina Moss highlights the value of first-hand experience. What data can do and what the limitations are to data and especially in smaller uh, regions and smaller topographies as well. It, is very important to see everything in person. The tour marked an exciting milestone for the students. They visited the flood affected areas for the first time. Very funny. We've been saying to each other, it's funny to look at a place on like, you know, Google Street View for a month and a half and uh, and then to finally see be, hey, I've you know seen that picture in a building, you know, I've, you know, yeah, seen that uh, in on Street View and stuff like that. And um, no, it's been really great. As they visited different locations, the new insights will enhance their research. We are students, so we haven't learned everything but we also uh, are still very excited and, you know, bright eyed and cheery eyed. So I think we be, might be able to bring a new perspective. A perspective that will be shared with local leaders to help create effective flood recovery strategies. We want to make sure we do that within the context of what it actually means to live in Montpelier, live in Barrie and stuff like that. So um, that's also a big thing too. you know, physically what's here, but also socially, you know, what it means to be in a place like this. Tomorrow, the group plans on splitting into teams as they will continue to visit various different locations throughout central Vermont. But live in Barrie, Union Martinez, NBC5 News.